Japan says it is trying to authenticate the video, and Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says saving the hostages' lives is his government's priority. He's added this morning he will not, and the country will not, give in to terrorism. The man on the left of your screen is Kenji Goto, who's a freelance reporter. We want to find out a little bit more about him now. I'm going to speak to someone who has known him for more than two decades, in fact, editor-in-chief of NHK World Television, an organization for which he has done work in the past. Miki Ibarra joins me on the phone from Tokyo. Miki, good morning to you. Good morning to you. And we're very uh, concerned about the safe well-being of your friend and colleague. So let's begin with a little bit of your reaction and that of the country as well to learning that, that your friend, your associate, has been taken hostage. Yes. Um, personally, I was very, very shocked to see uh, Kenji Goto in that orange jumpsuit um, in the video that ISIS um, provided. Um, but to me, it's um, to some extent, it was a relief also because I've, I, I knew that he went uh, to cover the situation in Syria in October. He left Japan in October, late October. And he, um, his original plan, I think, was coming back within about a week or so. Um, but uh, before he was his plans return, he didn't he didn't come back and he went missing. So I I knew that he was going missing for for the last three months, and um, I didn't know whether he was alive or you know killed um, in the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And so this is the first time I see him alive in the picture if it's genuine. Um, exactly. Well, so obviously, Japanese authorities trying to, to authenticate that, and yet, although alive, in potentially some very dangerous hands. Uh, your personal reaction as someone who know him, I'm wondering just more broadly with your Japanese viewership and the general reaction within the country to these two hostages. What has it been yes, today? General, yes, general reaction. I mean, it's, um, right now it's 10.30 um, at night in Japan. All television stations, all newspapers or Internet news service um, the top news is this, and they're covering only this. Um, and it coincides with the prime minister's visit to Middle East. So uh, Middle East, you know, has been in our, um, uh, was getting in our attention, and we, you know, nobody expected that this would come out no. um, in in this period. I was understanding that Kenji had been working along the Turkish-Syrian border, doing some coverage there. Any idea at all what it was particularly he was covering or trying to document? Well, um, before in his previous visit, um, he was um, on the Turkish side of the border, and he and and that was the, the last report that he made for us too. Um, and he covered the new flow of refugees from a town called Kobani in Kurdish name. Um, because of the attacks of ISIS, they they try to escape and you know coming into. Um, Turkish side. And so I'm sure he wanted to go back to follow the story um, because he he told me that he knew uh, Peshmerga, which is the armed group of the Kurds people. They were just about to attack back on ISIS. And so I think um, he wanted to follow the situation, but I'm not sure um, how he got into Syria and what he was planning to do. To do. Uh, the demand from the hostage takers, $200 million. We heard this morning uh, that your Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe, has said he will not give in. And right. certainly there will be many Western nations that would hope that is the case, but we know in the past Japan has indeed met uh, ransom demands. What do you mm -hmm. think? Will he be likely to, to pay the money or what will he do? Um, I, I can't predict. I'm not really, you know, I don't know what goes on uh, in his mind. And um, because this is like the very first time Japanese journalists, um, two of them, were um, caught by ISIS. Um, so I don't hear anything, any debate in this society about whether um, ransom should be paid or not. I think people are really like, monitoring closely what is going on, uh, what, what is, will happen. And I know everyone will hope that the two men will 
come back alive. But um, there is really not discussion here in this country whether the government should pay or not. Um, I think partly because this is very new and uh, people don't really have a clear opinion about this. Okay. Well, we'll track this with you and hopefully we can speak again. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Mickey, for your time today. Mickey Ibarra from NHK there in Tokyo this morning.